These guys make the C-chart completely insane. In this video, we're gonna make an articulated ragworm fly. I'm Robert Hanson, and in this video, we're gonna tie a quite a specific fly. It's not something for the entire year, but during a certain time, like in quite early spring, there tend to be a lot of ragworms open in the water. When they're reproducing, that's kind of the only time when you see them available up in the water column swimming around. They're terrible swimmers, they can't move around much, so they're, it's a cra crazy protein source for the sea trout for sure. When I saw these micro fish spines, I just got inspired to tie these. So now I'm gonna share my take of making a ragworm. The tutorial of this fly is gonna be fairly short because this procedure is really simple, but it's quite time consuming because it's, you repeat the same thing on each shank and it's uh, several shanks to make this, make this fly come alive. We're gonna begin with the tying. When we come to the part to connect the last shank to the hook, I'm using fluorocarbon, this is 036. But as always in these videos, down in the description, you find the whole list of what materials to use. Let's begin.
Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it a lot. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment in the video there and you have the chance to win the flight.